Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Larry, we are about an hour's drive southwest of downtown Boston in the area known as Patriot Place, Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough. All the success in New England over the last few decades, and this crowd has never been more enthusiastic. A moment ago, the Pats emerged from their locker room. They are set as they'll square off with Marcus Mariota and the Tennessee Titans. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. Ready to go now. Steven Goskowski for the Patriots as we are off and running in Foxborough. This is taken at his four. <laughs> and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback. Out of Oregon, it's Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota's skill set can help continue to evolve the position of quarterback in the NFL because his ability to run with the football, you may not utilize it as little as other coaches have in the past. You may emphasize that part of the game a little bit more. starters here they are and Delaney Walker Charles it's a guy that you and I said we wanted to discuss a bit yeah and we should because remember he came out of college as a wide receiver so he's one of the early guys to move from a wide receiver position to tight end and still run routes as if he were a wide receiver an excellent target unable to connect on the first down pass play now it's second down Mariota throwing over the middle and it's incomplete Corey Davis the intended receiver and that takes us from second to third down and quickly let's check out the New England defense let's shine a little light on Devin McCourty one of the top safeties in the game even though he only had one interception 2016 the analytics people say when you watch him on tape he makes all the plays that you need plays what I call top down defense keeps everything in front in fact his team was the only team in the NFL in 2016 not to give up a touchdown pass of 30 yards or more. This guy knows how to play the position well, patrol center field, and knows what he's doing out there. On third down, Mariota. Oh, well, he's got some breathing room. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A good pick up there, a 22. So the offense has it first and 10. Right here, right here. Now here's the first carry for DeMarco Murray. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now that play was doomed right from the start. They just about ran into every defender on that one, didn't he? It felt like everyone got a piece of that tackle. Single, 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 single. 
Mariota now on second down. His throw incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. They really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong, didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. An extra corner on the field for New England here on third down. Yeah, another DB. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. Back deep, Danny Amendola for New England. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Now this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Patriots now to take over on offense. They are led out by a man who needs little introduction at this point. Well, no introduction. Now five-time Super Bowl champion Tom Brady. And we keep hearing from people who are waiting to see the drop-off in his play. I'd quit worrying about it. I'd quit looking for it. He says he wants to play until he's 45. Is there any reason to doubt him? His skills have shown no sign of declining. They go play action here on first down. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 14 yards is the pickup there in a New England first down. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receivers breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And that'll bring up second down. And the Buffet Boys, the O-line, hopefully they're ready today. Listen, you got to feed them first. But if you do, you usually get a great product out on the field. And when they play well, the quarterback can't wait to feed them afterwards. Try again on second down. And he hits the running back, Deion Lewis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Instead of the running back in New England, sometimes they like to call him the passing back. So they get him the ball in different ways, don't they? They certainly do. Think about the ones they've had in recent vintage. You talk about Kevin Falk, Danny Woodhead, Shane Vereen. James White could have been the MVP in the Super Bowl if it wasn't for a certain quarterback that was on the field that day. First down. Over the middle, that's taken in by Gronkowski. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. The starting defense for the Titans. One of the areas of need for the Tennessee Titans in 2017, an elite safety. So they went out and signed Jonathan Cyprian from the Jacksonville Jaguars. I expect them to pair up with Kevin Byard, so a rookie in 2016, and provide a strength for a defense that's looking for help down the middle. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Now a carry for the shifty Deion Lewis. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. 
Yeah, I think the blitz there really disrupted the draw. Yeah, and it's usually when you catch them in a blitz, the draw works pretty well. If you're the offensive coordinator right now, that's visor throwing time, isn't it? Because that's supposed to work in a big way. Throwing is Brady on third down. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And they're able to convert on third with a solid gain of 23. One of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. On play action, now Brady. This is caught, Gronkowski. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. As I was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. They'll run for it with Deion Lewis. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And it'll be second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert? and fire out and create some space in the run game. Again, it's Lewis. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On third down, that's Lewis. And this will result in him losing yardage back to the three. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Now, this feels like old-school football because this has turned into a good old-fashioned goal-line stand. So on offense, what do you do now? Do you decide to run it or throw it if you go for it on fourth down? So we've reached the end of a fairly even first quarter of play. Can't wait to see what the second quarter has in store. And we'll return to Foxborough after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Patriots in possession to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. And the first play will be a field goal try from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. it through and the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead and that field goal caps an 11 play drive it's a lot of offense to run to only get three points but they'll take them anytime you can put anything on the board you run to your sideline somewhat happy
Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Here's Eric Weems now on the return. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not pump the ball again. They begin the drive with a run by Murray. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And he had a nice play there from his free safety position to hold him to nothing. And, Brandon, remember when the free safety was always back away from the line of scrimmage? That's changed. They always <laughs> that changed in a big way. The way we see it now, they're almost mirrors between the free safety and the strong safety. One will be up, one will be back, or sometimes both will be in the same spot. On that play, the free safety was there, no gain. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Kyle Van Noy from his outside linebacker spot. He gets him down here for a loss of four. He didn't get rid of the football there, took the sack. Oh, look, that's easier said than done. He can't just chuck the thing sideways into the seats. No, he really can't because you're not afforded total protection as a quarterback. You have to get outside of the tackle boxes as defined by the NFL, meaning wherever your tackles operate normally, get outside of that. And the ball that you throw has to get back to at least the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, you face an intentional grounding call. Mariota will need a big play after the sack as the Titans come up third and long. Play fake to Henry. Now Mariota. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Here's Brett Kern now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. <laughs> A beautiful fake. 46 yards on the boot. The coverage holds him to just three on the return. And the Patriots take over. Now the Patriot offense set to take over again. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. He put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bashed it. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> They'll start things on first down with Deion Lewis. And he'll be taken down right around the 34 after a pickup of only a yard. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else he'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Try again with Lewis. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. In trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. On third down, Brady. 
He's letting it fly for Cooks. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That has to be frustrating for defenders. Third down, they take a shot way downfield. There is good coverage, yet they still come down with the football and pick up a big game. from the gun. It's Brady. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made it a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. Partner, I know we're in a goal-to-go situation, but my goodness, think about running the ball here. Not even a thought, is yeah, it? defensively, they're in a prime spot. And I think the defensive guys are probably expressing themselves to them as well. I wouldn't run it here, guys. You might want to try throwing it. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back to Foxborough after this. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Larry Ridley. Larry will have the highlights of this first half, but he won't have touchdowns because we haven't had any to this point. But there's still time, though, partner. The offense on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and goal. Shotgun now for Brady. This will be caught at about the five. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. So on fourth down, Brady will yield to Goskowski for the field goal try. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And Goskowski's kick is good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So it's an old school extra point, but certainly a disappointment that they couldn't get six. Yeah, when you see 19-yard field goal in the box score, you kind of shake your head. But their head coach decided three was enough. Koski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Now 
Out come the Titans now. And this is their third drive. Maybe the focus right now, not so much on points, but getting their first first down. And when you start off a game, you don't even think that's an issue, do you? But you go a drive, a second drive, no first down, that becomes an issue. Now you got to think about, okay, what type of play calling do I have to do to get us in a spot to pick that first one up? Let's have some fun. You sent out something on social media last week I thought was great. You asked if Santa Claus was in the NFL, what position would he be playing? Well, we got some great responses, yeah, too, on that one. What was I mean, the theme? A lot, of people, a lot of people have looked at him as a defender. Zero technique, which would be a nose guard, right, because of his bulk. Some people thought he'd be a great three technique. Somebody said, well, his footwork would be terrific. Santa's quicker than you think. And then some people had him on offense, but there were a few skeptics out there as well who said, well, he can't really play. He gets carried around all the time by Rudolph and the rest of the crew. And, <laughs> and I mean, you just name it, they had it. But it was a whole lot of fun to hear the responses on Santa. And some people even took it to enough. Santa went to the combine. Would he, try, would he go every drill? Would he do all these things? And I was like, you know, this has actually been a whole lot of fun. And bottom line is, for me, Santa can play whatever position he wants. Santa's my quarterback. No doubt. No question. Well, sometimes those cliches really come true, don't they? When it's about it takes all 11 to play good defense. We've seen that in this ball game. I think the secondary has to be singled out, though. They are in the presence of every receiver whenever the ball's thrown. And this one, they help force another incompletion. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And out will come the offense as they take over. So the Patriots coming out now. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. First down, Brady. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target, and it's second down. Well, that incompletion there gives us a chance to inform the Madden community that we are taking a little bit of a break for the holidays. A brief hiatus. A brief hiatus, and the next live content update, next commentary update will be coming January 10th. Well, that just means if we're coming back for January 10th, we're talking playoffs. We all we will be talking playoffs. We'll be talking playoffs. We'll be talking the meat of the action, the best part of the season, the gift that keeps on giving. All right, so the post-Christmas blues will be over because we'll be talking about the playoffs. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. And now first down following that long game. Going on first down is Brady. Going underneath for Lewis. And he's brought down. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half.
first and ten. Here's Brady. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Brian Arakpo coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Second down, here's Brady. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. From the gun, it's Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski, that's caught. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So the offense takes the timeout, and they are back out and ready to rock. And now they call on Steven Goskowski, his career-long 57 yards set just a year ago. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And this is good from 57 yards out. That was bombs away right there. Thanks, Brandon, and welcome to our EA Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Patriots are up right now and are looking to keep up the pressure moving forward. The Titans won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. All right, let's get straight to it. Here's some highlights from the first half. Titans have it early in the second. Defense will get to the QB here. This goes for a loss of four. late in the first half. Hogan's found on the quick pass and catched it, and he ends up at their own 49-yard line. Staying late in the second, Arakpo showing skill here to get to the QB. This will go for a loss of eight. We'll go back now under the lights for the second half of this Monday night matchup. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. Here's Matthew Slater to return it. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. 
They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you turn that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. Brady now on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Well, we got a second here. And thinking back to week 15, a cool moment in that Panthers-Green Bay game. Did you, uh -huh. did you see the video of Cam Newton and Clay Matthews? I did. And, you know, when you watch it, when you watch it, and, you know, what everybody told me, when they're watching it live, you could see something happening because the commentators were talking at that time. Then they took the commentators' voices out, and you caught everything. So let me see if I have it right. Cam Newton, quarterback for the Panthers, had some by play with linebacker Clay Matthews of Green Bay. And Clay was telling him he knew what he was about yeah. to call, right? Yeah, Clay was saying, well, yeah, guys, watch for the wheel route. And Cam said, oh, that's cool. You've been watching film? Well, watch this. And he switched the play and threw a slant to McCaffrey for a touchdown. How great is that? The <laughs> back and forth. So Clay Matthews did his homework, yep. but they changed it up, right? Because it looked like a wheel, and yep. he turned it into a slant. That's an excellent counter play by the Carolina Panthers. What a cool moment. Cam Newton and Clay Matthews. <laughs> From the gun on third down, Brady. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you can actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. Brady gives this one to Lewis. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. When you're trying to create space for your running back, the first thought is how physical is the offensive line? Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out-leveraged them and won the battle. Play action, now it's Brady. He's going to air it out deep for Hogan. And he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. New England on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 10. I got 83, I got 83. From the gun, Brady. Open man, it's Allen. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Inside the 40 to the 39. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Now Brady on the bootleg. 
caught right side. It's Lewis. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third and one. Brandon, more and more offenses are going to the philosophy of using every inch of the field to try and spread things out. And when you're running back and catch the ball as well, that can only help your offense. New England on third down. They've hit four of seven. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And he gets his down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Brady fighting Hogan on third down, and the Patriots able to convert. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is? to not play too much zone. Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Throwing on first down, Brady. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And the offense readies for play number 10 of this series. Now Brady again, and Cooks has it over the middle. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. They go play action here on first down. On the slant, he gets it to Gronkowski. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. That time a slant, Brady in general on those quick hitters, he just releases the ball so fast. He does, and he's so accurate, but most of the time, he wins before the ball's even snapped by his pre-snap read. Finds out where the defense is and delivers it to the proper place. First and goal, defense with their backs against the wall. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Toward the pylon, caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Danny Amendola, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game being on second half no matter what. With those first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. False start. Offense. Now remember, still time. They can elect to kick it now from back at the 20. You have to know what you have mentally from your kicker because the extra points have stressed these guys out all across the league. But I think at this stage of the game, I tried them out there and try it from the 20. So they're going to go for two. Again, it's Brady. 
And that one incomplete as it breaks a string of eight straight pass completions. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed near the goal line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. Koski now out to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Titans offense gears up for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. They'll try and get the running game going here with Murray. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on that run. And while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Second down, Mariota. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. The Titans on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and ten. From the gun, Mariota. And that would not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Gets around him, and now running right through it. 51 yards on the punt there. Brandon Cooks and the rest of the offensive crew trotting back into place out there. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. First down. Wide open, Gronkowski. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. A good pick up there of 20 yards. 
what may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Well, the offense lining up first and ten. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. Delay of game, offense. On oh, a delay of game there, they could not get the playoff in time. So frustrating for the head coach, frustrating for the offense. Sometimes you have to get the play call in a little bit quicker. Here we go on first and 15. Operating from the gun, Brady. He's going to look deep down the field. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. I think he's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead. You've got to protect it. And he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Brady to throw on second down. And he comes back with one complete. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. He's played a great game. It continues right there, even with this lead, confident to throw the pass and have the reception made. There's no doubt who the leader of their team is, is there? There's no doubt who they want to ride all the way to the finish because strategy would tell you run the football, run the clock down. Instead, they're letting him throw it because they feel that confident in what he's getting done. Brady looking to throw on third and two. Looking for Gronkowski, and he's got him complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Brady to Gronkowski, cover athlete to cover athlete for a Patriot first down. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. So here we go, first and 10 now. Now a toss play to Lewis. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Another carry, same story. Fourth quarter, and he is in red numbers right now with a running game. Hard to believe because you figure at some point you break off a run. But in this case, what we're seeing is just pure domination by the defense. I think it started with the scouting report. They got into what they were doing offensively, into their mindset, and now they're beating them to the punch on every snap. Brady. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Brian Arakpo in there to get him for his second sack of the night. And there they bring pressure from the inside, and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. Tough spot for the Pats now after the sack as Brady will lead him up third and long. Here's Brady to throw. Oh, he stays up. And the pressure gets to him again. Brian Arakpo in there to get him again. The third time he sacked him here tonight. 
Brandon, what I remember most about playing with guys who knew how to rush the passer, they would just tell you, just cover people for me, just long enough for me to get there. And that's exactly what happened on that play. Here's Ryan Allen now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Titans offense now, they get ready to do battle again here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. First down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Corey Davis, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. So second and ten here. Working out of the gun, Mariota toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The Titans on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And down he'll go at the 25. It's a gain of five, and it'll be fourth down. here on the fourth down try. Mariota's going to stay out there. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. And they get 28 yards on that one. And that'll be good for a Tennessee first. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. on that one as they keep the drive rolling. A first down throw for Mariota. And some room to maneuver. Look at the spin. Balance. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 more on that one and another first down. 
From the red zone now, Mariota. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make this a second down. to go here on second down. Throwing is Mariota. Going with a screen for Murray. He juked him. Oh, and now he bowls him over. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. Mariota now. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Super Bowl 49 hero Malcolm Butler. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on, too. No doubt about it. They are excited about where they are in this game. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? In a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. And this one maybe not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. They start the drive on the ground with Lewis. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. And the Titans going to signal for a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. So the defense has put them in a tough spot. It's second and long. Now Lewis. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Now another timeout here called by the Titans. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here. And we'll be back. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. New England on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This is third and 14. They'll run it here. This is James White. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field.
Here's Ryan Allen now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. The quick feet by Jackson. That'll wind up being a 50-yard punt, though they do get 10 back on the return. And it'll be Titan football. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure, and to come away with nothing, that's a really tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. And he'll spike it with exactly 30 seconds now left on the clock. Titans on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This will be third and five. Now Mariota. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Working the sideline there, good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Fresh set of downs here. Mariota again. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It'll be a gain of six, and it'll bring up a second down. And they'll get the spike off with six seconds to go. something unforeseen this will be the last play of the game one last shot now for Mariota he's gonna let it fly and this is intercepted and that should do it picked off by Deron Harmon and that will write a finish to this ball game the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt, the number zero, zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment, because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team, there's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them, going along with those zeros in the time column, too. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA.